Hello there and welcome back to my channel Duella. So today I've got a slightly different video for you. It's actually not beauty products and it's not a beauty box unboxing. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what is it? Well it is all about wax melts. I absolutely love wax melts. I love candles, I love reed diffusers, anything that makes your house smell really nice and perfumey. I absolutely love and I have done for a long long time. Anyway up until I would say the last year or so I'd only ever really tried Yankee Candle wax melts. However over the last couple of months I've been trying out different brands and I've came across one that I absolutely love. That's fast becoming one of my favourite sayings and I'm well aware of that. I often say I absolutely love this but if I say that then I absolutely mean it. So this is a company that I came across just when I was flicking through I think it was Instagram about six weeks ago. I came across a post for Hazy Days Wax Melts and I thought oh they look nice like I was really enticed to it because they were bright colours and I was enticed to the smells the scents Twisted Mermaid and lots of different ones anyway so yeah I clicked on the site it's just it's always just dangerous when you click on these sites isn't it so I clicked on and yeah I fell in love with the stuff so I ordered myself five little snap bars the snap bars are five for ten pounds and you have to type that code in at the little bar and the coupon bit at the end to get them for five for ten pounds otherwise they're two pound fifty each so basically you pay for four and you get one free and then it's one pound ninety shipping absolutely amazing so hazy days which is a, a lovely lady called hazel from northamptonshire she basically runs this business from home and it's like a kind of sideline business because she does work through the day as well and it's her hobby she absolutely loves it she puts her heart and soul into it and I've really enjoyed getting to know Hazel a little bit over the last couple of weeks so I tried out some of the products and I fell in love with them absolutely loved them and yeah basically they're downstairs at the moment so I might have to quickly switch this uh, this camera off to go and show you the products that I've already got by her but what I'm about to show you today is the advent calendar which is the 12 advent days now you can start the advent calendar on the 1st of December or you can start in the middle of December just depends when you when you would like to do it really so yeah I only got this yesterday you can get it in the Christmas scents or secret scents I went for secret scents because the Christmas scents one, I'm not a big fan of the Christmas scents stuff. Like, you know, that mulled wine and gingerbread cookies and that kind of smells. They're nice, but I find them a little bit sickly sometimes and my husband doesn't like them. So, yeah, I, I went for the secret scents ones and I'm over the moon. I'm absolutely over the moon. I've literally had a little peek inside the box just to check that everything was all right before I did this unboxing because... I've had such nightmares with unboxings lately, seriously. Anyway, so yeah, I just checked everything was all right and it was perfect. It was absolutely spot on. So what I'll do is I'm going to unbox the 12 Days of Advent Secret Sense calendar and then I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go and get the rest of my wax melts to show you my little collection. I only tend to kind of promote and big something up if I really do believe in it. If I don't believe in something, guys, and if I don't like it, I simply just wouldn't. It's as simple as that. Now Hazel kindly gave me a discount on this box but if you want to purchase one I believe it's £30 plus postage and I think the postage for this is about £3 something. So yeah it's worth every penny guys, it's worth every penny. So without further ado I'll get cracking. So this is the box, so so pretty but one thing I will say Hazel if you're watching this which you probably are, the glittery bow, my goodness there's glitter all over my house. <laughs> seriously there's glitter everywhere it's even on my face and like yeah it won't come off but anyway it might make it sparkle a bit more so anyway when it came the bow was wrapped so so neat but I just had to quickly rewrap it for the purpose of this video like I say I wanted to unwrap it and take pictures of the inside so I did that last night and then I uploaded them on my Instagram account because I like to put pictures on there as well anyway god the glitter is just like flying all over off that bow <laughs> Anyway, it'll make me house nice and sparkly. So I'm just going to take the lid off and then I'm going to show you inside the box. It's so cute, guys. It's so sweet and so, so cute. 
like how beautifully packaged is that attention to detail everything it's just completely there now everything that hazel uses is biodegradable eco-friendly cruelty free and vegan friendly so there you go anyway basically a little bit about hazel's business she started in 2018 and when she first started she used to use little plastic pots with little wax heart melts and she was never keen on using plastic she always wanted to go eco-friendly and it took her a little bit of time to phase them out and then source the eco-friendly kind of biodegradable packaging which she has since then done earlier this year and yeah it's just it's fab it's absolutely fab so right let's dig in number one here we go <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say there. Bearing in mind, I have already pre-opened them just to check that it was all all right. I don't know why I wanted to check that. I think it's paranoia with having so many bad experiences with boxes lately. Anyway, this is number one and it's done so, so thoughtfully, lovingly and pretty. And on the back, on every back of every one, there's a sticker saying Merry Christmas from Hazy Days. It's so, so pretty. It's lush. It's absolutely lush. So, I'll show you what I've got, guys. You can obviously unbox these one per day in December or whatever for 12 days. But I'm just doing it now for the purpose of the video. And then I'm just going to pop them with my collection. So, number one, watermelon lemonade. Oh, it just, it looks scrumptious. It looks absolutely scrumptious. And it smells bloody lovely. And I've never tried this one. Bearing in mind, I've bought about... 15 wax melts offer I think around about 15 and I'd never tried this one so I was so thrilled to get it and they're all really freshly made as well it says on the back of the dates that she actually made them and this one was the 8th of November so literally just literally days ago like not that long ago and ah, oh, it smells so nice you can definitely smell the watermelon and you can smell the lemon as well it's really really nice now when you burn these I know that Hazel uses an electric burner, but all I've got is like an original kind of oil wax burner one. So yeah, I just use tea lights and the taller the better rather than the shorter so that the smell kind of releases over a longer period of time. And she advises that you use four cubes at one time because some people are unsure about how many to burn. I burn either four or six, that's personally what I do, and I mix and match the scents as well. But beautiful absolutely beautiful really thrilled with number one so now I'm looking for number two like I say I have opened them last night I just I couldn't bear the temptation of sitting not knowing what they were I just had to know what they were and I really was desperate to know what number seven was because that's my birthday so I was thinking please be a nice one <laughs> which they're all nice they're all absolutely lovely so as far as like kind of scents go they do pack a punch that are really quite prominent they really are quite strong but i would personally i'm never going to lie to anybody i'm always so honest with every review that i do and every first impression they are strong and they do pack a punch but i think that the yankee candle wax melts are possibly a little bit stronger possibly a little bit more concentrated but however these are amazing they are still so so good so this next one for day number two is fizzy mango and that's so so cute i would never think to have bought the fizzy mango one because i love fruity scents but i wouldn't normally buy a fruity scent wax melt i normally buy more perfumey and kind of fabric softener smelling ones if that makes sense but this smells really nice i was pleasantly surprised with it i really was i'm just gonna have a little sniff oh that smells so good it literally smells like fresh mangoes and clementines and just like passion fruit type smell. It smells really, really nice. Can't wait to try that one actually. Really looking forward to it. One thing I'll also point out is that Hazel was determined to make her products affordable. She didn't want to put a product out there that was, you know, pie in the sky price range wise. She wanted to put them what, you know, what she would be happy to pay for them herself and she's done that and i just think it's amazing i think it's so so good so number three i'll show you what one i got this is fresh linen i was over the moon to get this because i hadn't tried it and i think when i went to try and add it it might have been out of stock a couple of weeks ago 
So I was thrilled to get fresh linen and it smells just like fresh linen, like fabric softener. It smells lush. They all smell so, so good. Like I can't get over how nice they smell. And I will always be honest, if there was a smell of one that I didn't like, I would tell you that I didn't like it. But it's personal preference when it comes to these things. So what I might like, you might not like and vice versa. And that's fine because we're all different. But I honestly genuinely love every single one I've had so far. And I've burned quite a few of them that I've got downstairs. Which, like I say, I'll pause the video and I'll bring them up and I'll show you. So, number three is fresh linen. Absolutely love it. Number four, they've all got the numbered stickers on and they've all got the Merry Christmas on the back as well. Honestly, they're just so nice. It's such a lovely little kind of box. Really nice idea as well. So, bravo Hazel, you did a fabulous job. This one, I'd never thought of trying this, but I was pleasantly surprised at the smell. It's black opium. And I think this is one of the perfume scent ones. And they're so, so pretty. Even down to the glitter inside the actual melts is biodegradable. And I know that Hazel has to pay a little bit extra for that. But she's happy to do so if it means polluting the oceans less. So, yeah. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that smells so nice. It literally just smells like a really nice perfume. Obviously, it's supposed to smell like perfume. It's sweet, it's floral, and it's musky. It's so, so nice. Like a kind of evening perfume. I'm really looking forward to burning that one. I love things that smell. Anything like perfume is like always a winner with me. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice here. So, number five. Again, they're all packed exactly the same. She's done such an amazing job putting these together. Considering it's not her main business, she does work through the day. She's done a really good job. And I know that they're very, very popular online. So this one is Hotel of Dreams, which looks so, so cute. They even look good enough to eat. They look like a little bar of chocolate. Like when I see them, I just, I'm so tempted to bite into them. But obviously I did that. If I did that, I would feel sick and I'd probably be sick. So I'm not gonna bite into them. <laughs> anyway, let's try and explain what this smells like because it looks bloody gorgeous. Oh, it smells like sweets. To me, that smells a bit like drumstick sweetie lollies. If anyone knows what they are, which I'm sure you do. We've all had them as kids. But if I had one now, I'd probably lose about five teeth when I was chewing it. Anyway, so yeah, that one's Hotel of Dreams and it smells really sweet. It's really, really lovely. Number six. Am I on to number six? I hope I am because I'm opening number six. I've just got this pile of paper next to us now, which is all for the recycling bin. This is Comfy Strawberry and Lily, which I believe is based on a fabric softener, possibly. Not 100% sure, but I think it is. So, so pretty the way that she does them. It's just so, so stunning. This one smells lovely. It's definitely very fruity, but it's also got a floral scent. Mm, it really has. It actually reminds me a little bit of Strawberry Calpol. I know that sounds really weird, but it does remind me a little bit of Strawberry Calpol. But yeah, looking forward to trying them. They're just, they're different to me. They're different. I know there's a lot of people doing these kind of wax melts now. There's lots of businesses online. I often see like, you know, I often get spammed with advertising with them. But I was so pleased when I was spammed with this one because it made us try them. And I came across and stumbled across something I absolutely love. And that's, that's how you find these things out, guys, is if you try them. So... Number seven, I was praying this was going to be a goodie, and it's a very different one. This is called Savage, which I think is based on a men's aftershave, but I might be wrong. However, it smells quite masculine, and it's really nice. If you like that kind of strong men's aftershave smell, it just, it does smell lovely. It really does. Ah, oh, it just smells like, you know when like, a bloke's got out the shower and he's used lots of shower gel and then he puts his deodorant and his aftershave on. Just that kind of smell. Mm, like a really fresh smell. It's like a kind of fresh Christmassy aftershave smell. Does that even make any sense? Probably not. But yeah, really intrigued to try that one because I've never burnt anything that smells like that before. So it'll be interesting to see what it smells like in the house. Plus I burn them in quite a big room. 
so it's it's nice to see how far the smell actually goes and how long they last because you can keep reburning them for a couple of days some people only use them once or twice even once i personally use them about three or four times and then i kind of like scoop them out and put a new one in so number eight which is my door number <laughs> Anyway, a bit of pointless information for you there. Oh, it's one of my favourites. It's Twisted Mermaid. I've got this one already and I love it. It's so, so nice. Looks really pretty as well to look at. Like I say, the packaging on these on these things are fab. The actual product, the way that they look aesthetically, really pleasing on the eye. Really good colours and really nice smells. That's the most important thing is that they smell nice. Mm, that one's really dreamy that's really kind of fruity and creamy but i would say fruity and creamy yeah more than anything else fruity and creamy does that make sense it smells a bit like strawberries and cream but anyway right number nine i'm so paranoid that i open one and then miss a number out so i'm on a number nine Ah oh dear, this is just something really different for me to do i'm so used to showing you beauty products and now i'm showing you wax melts this one is probably my favourite in the entire box. This one is called Snow Pixie. And I'm pretty sure that Hazel has based this on Snow Fairy from Lush. Not only does it look so, so pretty, it looks Lush from Lush. It's like, it smells like the Lush Snow Fairy. Which, by the way, I've just ordered that shower gel. But anyway, pointless information. It definitely smells like Snow Fairy. As soon as I sniff that snow fairy i just knew instantly obviously the word snows in the in the title snow pixie but this is gorgeous this is definitely one of my favorites even though i haven't burnt it yet it's definitely one of my favorites to have get like an initial sort of first impression sniff oh that's so nice that is lush absolutely lush and i know that sounds really weird it's a bit of a pun saying that it sounds lush because it smells like lush snow fairy but it's really really nice so number 10 this one actually ripped the sticker on the back when i opened it last night i was gutted <laughs> i wanted to try and seal them up as best i could sun ripe raspberry that looks so so pretty that looks really really pretty and it smells just like raspberries i remember sniffing this last night because it was only last night when i sniffed it Yep, it just smells like fresh raspberries and raspberry coolie. It smells a lot like raspberry coolie or raspberry sauce. So yeah, really looking forward to burning that. And to be honest, I think I'm going to mix and match a lot of these. Like as in maybe two cubes of a fruity one and two cubes of a slightly more floral one. Just to mix and match because you can do that with them. You don't have to burn them all together. Number 11. Honestly, I'm over the moon at this. It's so, so nice. Even the attention to detail in the box of like the little kind of dried orange slices, the little acorns and also the little star anise, the little dried star anise just looks really nice. Oh, this one is gorgeous. It's called Down Under and she actually does the exact same colours on the A Thousand Wishes bar. The A Thousand Wishes one is gorgeous. It smells like a perfume, but I haven't managed to put my fingers on exactly what perfume it is yet, but it definitely smells like perfume. Anyway, this is called Down Under. Oh, it smells really nice. It doesn't smell entirely different to A Thousand Wishes. It smells a little bit similar, but this has got a slight bubblegum smell, like that old fashioned 80s bubblegum smell. That's personally what I can smell on it. So Hazel, please let me know if that's meant to smell like bubblegum, because it does smell like bubblegum. It smells really nice, so it smells lush. Can't wait to try these, absolutely can't wait. But I have to be patient and just burn one at a time <laughs> because otherwise my house will be absolutely stinking of wax melts, which wouldn't be a bad thing. So number 12, as I say, you can use the number 12 for the 12th of December or you can use it on Christmas Eve if you go from the 12th or 13th of December and work them like kind of, you know, the, the second half of the month. Just depends how you want to do it, really. So this is a double bubble. There's two bars in here. And that's a really nice treat so we've got comfy fuchsia and warming cashmere so this is comfy fuchsia which again i'm pretty sure this is based on a fabric softener and it smells stunning it smells so nice 
not only do they look nice but they honestly smell really really nice and i can't recommend them enough mm, that smells lovely that definitely smells like just clean line dried washing it smells really really nice really looking forward to trying like all of them and warming cashmere now i believe i've got one of these downstairs but i think it's a different color so sometimes hazel might mix the colors up a little bit this one's like grey and white and it's got glitter in. It's really pretty and it smells so nice. And I know I'm saying that about all of them, but they really do all smell so nice. Mm, that's really sweet. It's really warm and musky and sweet smelling. Mm, smells so, so good. So that is all of the wax melts in the 12 Days of Advent Secret Sense calendar. I'm absolutely thrilled with them, absolutely over the moon. And even if I'd paid the full £30, which I would have quite happily done, um, I would be sitting here saying it's still really good value for money because they will last you quite a while. Like I say, once you start burning them, you can burn them for, you know, as many times as you want, as long as you can personally still smell it. I like to try and get as much money's worth of something as I can out of something. So I burn them a couple of times before I take them out and pop them in the bin. However, sometimes I sometimes pop them in just the drawers in my kitchen to make them smell nice, which I know might sound quite weird, but I have done that in the past. <laughs> but yeah, um, really, really nice. So thrilled, so happy with them. So if you would like to purchase this or the 12 Christmas scents one or any other one where, like I say, you can get five for £10, then go onto the site Hazy Days Wax Melts. She's also on Instagram and Facebook and it's just amazing absolutely love the stuff there's lots of very other kind of very similar companies out there that do very similar things very similar smell and scents no doubt and similar names but out of all the ones that i've been trying over the last couple of months this is the one that i've been most impressed with and i would quite happily quite happily continue to purchase these and i would even buy them for gifts for friends and family of mine if they like to burn wax melts of course because not everyone does but I absolutely love them. They are so, so nice. So Hazel, thank you so much for this. Like I say, I have paid some money for it. It wasn't entirely gifted. I did pay some money for it, but Hazel did give us a little bit of a discount, which was so, so kind of a, in exchange for this review and unboxing. So what I'm gonna do now, because I'm nearly 23 minutes in, my goodness, this is so long. I'm just gonna quickly pause this video Go downstairs, get my little collection so that you can see that I do actually purchase these things. I'm not just on camera saying that I do. So I'm going to go and grab my actual little collection and then bring them upstairs to show you and then I'll wrap this video up. So just give us two seconds and I'll be back any minute now. Hello guys and I am back. <laughs> this is something I should have done before I started the video full stop. But complete scatterbrain today guys, I completely forgot. Anyway, I just quickly pegged it down the stairs and then sprinted back up just to show you my little collection that I actually bought not long ago. So there's a couple of packets missing and empty, but that's because they're all gone. So basically the ones that I've used are A Thousand Wishes, absolutely loved it, and I ordered a duplicate. So I've got it right here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so, so nice. It's got a really kind of nice, sweet, perfumey smell. And like I say, it smells like a perfume can't put my finger on what one i think it smells a little bit like victor and rolf possibly a little bit like that anyway that's flower bomb for those of you who didn't realize <laughs> then i've got these two which i've only got a little bit left of both and i tend to burn them together so this is angel wings and sea salt and vanilla really really nice and sweet and not overpowering like they're not sickly sweet but they're just so so nice and there's just a little bit of each left so I'm probably going to finish them off tonight just while I've got them open you know trying to be good trying to do things a little bit methodical so this is a new one Lenora Deep Sea never tried this but it smells just like Lenore fabric softener and it's absolutely stunning it just screams mermaid and ocean kind of like kind of colours it's just so so cute absolutely love it and it smells like oh it smells lush anything that smells like fabric softener to me is just like a win-win absolutely love them so yeah that's lenora deep sea 
I've also got Bon Bon, which is a perfume by Victor and Rolf, I believe. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is because I've used it. <laughs> so yeah, this does smell like Bon Bon as well. It does smell like the perfume. Really sweet, really girly and really floral. Then I've got Warm and Cashmere. So yeah, I said I knew I had this one, but except it's purple and grey. The other one that I've got is white and grey. So yeah, they must come in different colours. But they both smell exactly identical and I can't wait to try that one out. I literally can't wait to try all of them out. Then we've got Lenora Rose Wonderland, which is Mrs. Hinch's Lenore Rose Wonderland, for those of you who are wondering. That's what it's based on and it smells so, so good. Like I've said, I sound like a parrot here. Anything that smells like fabric softener, absolutely love. Oh, that smells so nice. If that was a perfume, I would wear it. It smells lovely. So that's that one. Then I've got Palmer Violet. Because I love Palmer Violet sweets, so I thought, go figure, I'm going to love the wax burner as well. So really looking forward to trying that one. I'll probably burn that one on its own. I probably won't mix it with another one. Like I said, I do have Twisted Mermaid already. And Lavender Marshmallow. Oh, that smells so, so nice. Literally just like lavender and marshmallows. What more can I say? They are what they say on the packet. They smell gorgeous. They smell so, so nice. And I've got a huge collection of these things now. Literally, I wonder if I can fit them all in my hands. I'm going to try. I'm going to try just to show you the sheer amount that I now have. There is no excuse for me to buy any more now, guys. <laughs> I think I've got enough. Wow. I can barely fit these in my hands. In fact, I'm probably going to drop them. There you go. This is how many wax melts I have got. <clears throat> Wowzer. That is a lot. But I absolutely love them. Slight obsession, maybe? Very possibly. I think I'll just keep it at this for now, though, and I'll get these used up. <laughs> I promise I'll try not to buy any more. However, they're so tempting because they're so, so nice. So you know I'm not just sat here saying this just for the sake of it. I'm saying it because I absolutely love the products. By the way, this isn't including the two open packets down next to us. And it's not including the ones that I've used up and I've got in the bin. So yeah, absolutely love the stuff. Highly recommend Hazy Days Wax Melts. If you haven't already checked out the website, please pop on over. She's also on Instagram and Facebook. So that wraps up this video guys. I'm so sorry that it's quite a long one <clears throat> and I'm sorry that my voice keeps coming and going. That's because I really need a cup of tea. <clears throat> anyway right that's my cue to say bye because I really need a cup of tea. Plus it's almost tea time so that means I've got to cook the dinner. How exciting. Anyway if you're interested in these like I say head on over to the website absolutely amazing i'm so thrilled that i stumbled across this as an advert as an advert basically on instagram absolutely thrilled so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing sorry that it's been a long one but if you've stayed with us the whole time then thank you so much for watching other than that everyone take care and i'll see you all again soon bye for now